once you have a, a compliant ballot and the union has gone through all the, the prescribed uh, rules and requirements, an employer needs to do lots of things. There's lots of key considerations here to provide a, a strategic framework uh, in terms of the response. The first thing to consider is that there's not a one size fits all response here. The shape and size of the action, the effect of it is going to be unique and it should be considered as such. We really need to therefore assess the impact and the effect that that will have on the business. You also need to look at the effect on customers, the effect on service, the effect on reputation, as well as your uh, ability to meet perhaps statutory obligations as well. You also then need to consider what your dispute resolution procedures are and the approach to them. That's going to be your last chance saloon really to try and avert the action uh, and try and steer the union away uh, from pursuing that damaging uh, tactic. Once you've been able to assess the, the impact in full and the cost, I think it's only at that point can you then consider a, a potential fallback position, a potential revision uh, to your offering to try and avert the action because you can assess one cost set against the other and you can only do that in true terms with a full and detailed assessment of it. An employer's got lots of workforce planning options uh, to try and mitigate the effects of industrial action and the better plan, obviously the, the stronger the mitigation and the ability to really uh, last out the industrial action to see if the contingency endures. What you can do uh, it, to make sure we meet our serviceable delivery uh, requirements is move the work to existing employees, move it to different departments. We can also use temporary staff. It's important though that we, we're clear that we recruit the temporary staff and we don't use agency workers because that's prohibited. But we can otherwise transfer services um, to uh, external providers for a temporary period of time. So there are lots of options in terms of effective contingencies that an employer can consider putting into place.